Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. How you guys doing today? I am so happy to have you guys back on the channel. To my old and new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in, fam. I appreciate you all. Okay, you guys, look, I don't know what's going on, but as I was preparing for the reading today, it was just like the energy was, it couldn't wait to pop out, okay? I'm saging my cards, trying to get everything prepped and ready for you guys, you know, really trying to meditate and focus. And um, I'm sitting up here looking at these cards right here. And um, I realized that one of the cards was stuck in the box and it said false person. And right before I saw this card, I heard thirsty, okay? Also, I'm hearing struggle bus. I'm hearing someone is just, they're on edge. They're anxious. They don't know what to do with themselves because somebody is really scared that they're not going to get something. And also, as I was shuffling, trying to get ready for you guys, okay, so the chariot, the lovers reverse, the eight of cups reverse, and the nine of pentacles reverse just popped out. Somebody does not want to break up with someone, okay? They're in fear of moving forward. They just feel like they cannot walk away. They don't want to be single. They don't want to leave these cups behind. They don't feel free and independent. And they feel like their lover is, their divine lover is being taken away from them or the choice has already been made, okay? There's a lot of stalking and everything going on. So we're going to see, you know, I don't want to speak too soon, but when the energy come out like that, it's just, it's, Hey, it's a go. It's green light. It's like, okay, let's talk. Spirit is like, let's talk. Okay, so let's see. Heavenly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, use me as a vessel for the concise channel messages surrounding my collective. Anything that could be a catalyst before moving on your spiritual path and journey. A negative, unholy, unclean spirit, you're not welcome to my energy, their energy, my home, or into this reading. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, guide me as I channel these messages. Keep me out of hurt, and dangerous way. Cover me in your blood, your righteousness, mercy, grace, love, and light. I only want to hear from the highest, purest, holy, despite light of the Holy Spirit and his holy angels. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Let's get it. Let's go, collective. All right, Holy Spirit, messages of clarity and truth. What do you want the collectives to know right now? At this very moment, pertaining to the energy picked up, what do you want to know? I'm using the new Moonology Messages Oracle. I played with it a little bit um, a couple days ago, and I really love the energy. So it's really a great intuitive deck. You got to slow it down. You have celebration, and you have transformation. All right, so you have Cancer energy. You have Scorpio energy. Slow it down. You got celebration and you have transformation. So, yes, there is something going on within a connection. All right. You got two people right here in the center of this card. And you have like some kind of lightning or illumination surrounding it. Also, it may be a lot of secrets between this, these two people. All right. A lot of celebrating as well. Or possibly there has been longevity in this connection. Okay. I'm really getting that very strongly. And also... You and this person collective may be connected through music as well, okay? You have, like, the the musical symbols and everything coming out or someone in this connection is a musician or plays saxophone or something like that. Also, you have the sun in the background as well. So, somebody really wants to be happy, but they can't walk away from something. So, it's something that's delayed. You got to slow it down. Or somebody is stopping in their tracks. They're saying, okay, something is moving too fast. Maybe I need to slow it down. I do feel like someone's feelings are like going through the roof okay somebody's trying to overcome their feelings because this looks like a little mountain down here like a little pyramid mountain and i feel like somebody is trying to either hide their feelings or overcome how they feel because it's so overwhelming okay and i feel like it's coming from all directions like they try to stop thinking about you or stop feeling the way they feel but they can't it like it's like everywhere they turn something reminds them of you but their feelings may be hidden for you from you okay moonstone transformation like i said scorpio energy all right you have two dogs on the side of this woman she has a lot of fire okay maybe the person that you're dealing with is a fire sign could be doesn't have to be I also feel like your person ruminates a lot in their mind when they think of you and how they can transform this situation between you two, okay? I feel like your person, their thoughts are consumed by you collective, or maybe this may be vice versa, okay? But either way it go, I, I do feel like somebody's mind is like on repeat, 
over and over and over and over and over and they try to get you off their mind or possibly you try to get this person off your mind and it's just like nothing is working somebody listens to music to, to soothe themselves all right okay so let's see since the energy wanted to come out of this deck let's see what these messages are about collective all right holy spirit why celebration here i'm gonna bring this down so you guys can see okay holy spirit why is celebration here for the collective Why am I hearing going up yonder, going up yonder? What what is that song? Hold on, collect. So I just googled going up yonder, and I'm gonna read the lyrics. It says, "If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going soon. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going soon, I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. I can take no pain. The headaches they bring." The comforts in knowing I'll soon be gone. As God gives me grace, I'll run this race until I see my Savior face to face. Okay, so collective, somebody look, let me tell you, whether it be your person or you, honey, somebody, like I said, there's a lot of ruminating going, and I'm hearing going up yonder, like somebody feels like life is over, I would rather be with God than be with this, like, I could, I could take being in the presence of Jesus, because that's where I need to be at this point, because this right here, I can't take this, whatever is over, whatever is slowing down, I cannot take this, so your person is like, I would rather go up yonder, than not have my person. I would rather not be living. I would rather go home and be with my God than not have my person. Okay. All right, that's deep. That's for somebody, okay? It could be you or your person. Take it wherever it resonates, but somebody want to go up yonder and somebody does not want to live anymore. Seriously. Okay, so what is this? Okay, moon dance celebration. Why is that here? Okay, this could be a mature man. Your person could be. Okay, or maybe this is you collective, take it where it resonates, but I'm getting emperor energy from this, maybe. Really more king of pentacles. I feel like this person is more established, more of like a businessman, entrepreneur type. I mean, not saying that the emperor isn't. However, I feel like this person is more of like a king, not a full emperor. Like, I feel like they're in the making, but they're not there yet. That's the energy that I'm getting. All right, so celebration for Moon Dance. What else, Holy Spirit? One more for Moon Dance. Okay, two more. Okay, something is at a distant horizon. Okay, maybe you and this person has uh, a child together, or maybe there is a child at a distance, or a child uh, came in between you and this person in this connection. But somebody is at a distant horizon. Okay, a child or something pure, something childlike. Or maybe they feel like you're pure and you're at a distance from them because, like I said, this is celebration, all right? This is like a two of cups situation. It could mean that you have disconnected your energy from this person. Child could mean that your energy is very pure, very angelic. You could be an earth angel as well. But whatever it is, it's at a distance, okay? Take it where it resonates. It's no longer in this person's energetic field. They could barely feel you is what I'm getting, okay? All right, what else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I'm telling you, on the bottom of the deck, you got despair. I'm telling you, your person can barely feel your energy anymore. At one point, you know, you were surrounding them. They could feel your your loving protection around them. They could feel you praying for them. They felt like they had the, the army of angels surrounding them, protecting them, as long as they had your love. That's what I'm getting. Tell me about slow it down. Now, this it seems like it's almost at a halt. It has slowed down tremendously. What else? Slow it down. Why is that here? Slow it down. Ooh. Yep. Thief in reverse. Yeah. I think somebody was outed. I think that was the mystery as well. That's the reason why this moon is here. Somebody is thinking about how they possibly betrayed you, collective. Something came out. You were robbed of something, okay? And Or maybe this person is down on themselves because they feel like they robbed you and they know they have and they didn't take any accountability for it but it's kind of being illuminated they're trying to overcome that obstacle but they realize why things have slowed down okay maybe you are not contacting this person anymore there's no expectation of communication you're not messaging them you're not texting them you're not calling them email whatever okay but the communication yeah has significantly slowed down all right they don't even feel like your friend 
anymore despair they're trying to come up out of this but it's hard because they feel like you don't even want them in the community around your friend circle around your family that's how this person feels thief and slow it down holy spirit why is that here yeah i'm telling you false person this person was outed your person was outed okay whatever they were trying to hide it has been illuminated in all directions like i feel like whomever they were telling lies to or whomever was trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt i feel like they're being looked at in all directions from all different people that did not expect this behavior from them they're out it yeah in a house in a home is in the balance because someone has not been truthful someone has been wearing a mask okay this may be somebody from your past okay a past lover of yeah a past lover it says moon memory somebody is really thinking about the memories uh, in your connection okay how it used to be beautiful okay they want to go back and be a kid again with you like it was like kid energy like y'all had a good time or something like that because i'm hearing back in the day when i was young i'm not a kid anymore but some days i said wish i was a kid again so i feel like you guys when y'all came together it was very lighthearted. see you got two different branches in this card okay two different leaves you got the oasis right there the clouds it looks heavenly okay but i feel like this moon slowly came down and started covering up stuff like an illusion okay what else watch transformation here yes just like when i said an illusion here think about a desert and what they what do they call that a mirage yes somebody feels like they have been fooled that's what it is somebody in this connection feels like they have been fooled it might be this mature woman because now you have the mature woman and you have the um mature man on the board you have a match so someone has been thrown off by this connection okay yeah transformation i don't know if it's you that is the mature man or you're this mature woman but this mature woman is in reverse i feel like she may be a little distorted there needs to be a transformation with her who is this holy spirit why is mature woman here with um transformation marriage there's a marriage in the balance okay i'm telling you there's a soul contract okay a coven a covenant not a coven a covenant there may be a coven that is affecting or interfering on this connection it may be at a dissonance okay because i wouldn't say that for nothing a covenant you guys made why is the mature woman in reverse why is the mature woman in reverse? because somebody does there's no courting no fire okay no courtship no leadership is what i'm hearing Four may be some significance to someone. Threes. Okay, you may be seeing uh, signs and synchronicities. Three, 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 four, 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 something like that. Okay. However, someone got real lazy in this connection. All right, you got adjudication. Something was unbalanced. What was unbalanced? What was not balanced? Yeah. Gift in reverse. Somebody was handed a gift. This marriage was meant to transform limitations. It was meant to be very fruitful, but someone in this connection realized rather quickly that this was not a gift. They realized that it was karmic. Privileged lady in reverse, main female in reverse, journey in reverse. There was no change, no great fortune. Somebody understood that this is not the connection for me. Somebody knows that something needed to transform within themselves, and they realized rather quickly that this connection is not a gift from God somebody knows that look you got privileged lady in reverse main female in reverse journey in reverse and you have change in reverse okay the person who feel like they don't want to live anymore or something like that could be this mature woman i'm not sure if that's you collective but somebody feels like there's no great fortune in this connection too much has happened too much trauma no leadership no courtship no fire no gift i just feel like it's a stalemate at one point, there may have been a lot of chemistry between you and this person, but somebody realized that it was a mirage, like in the desert, like it was dry. Like it looked maybe to people on the outside, maybe to social media, family, friends, that it was a beautiful relationship on the surface, but the land was dry. There was no water to, to feed the seeds that were planted in the ground because the seeds were dead is what I'm getting. Okay dead seeds 
Yeah, look at this part. This woman, this woman is in the desert. I'm telling you, she's in the desert. You got dogs, two dogs that are just sitting there being loyal, just sitting on the surface of the, the sand. And they're just put, they're like, they're sta like they're statues. They look like statues. So I'm getting just two people there just looking like statues in this connection. No movement, no, you can't see any blood running through their cheekbones. I mean, nothing. It's just like, uh, um, just imagine someone's hands if there's uh, no blood in them, okay? No, nothing, no color, no nothing. It's gray, it's ash, it's cold looking. That's what these dogs look like. And I feel like that was this connection, these two people in this connection. I hope that makes sense. And so spirit had to come in and say, no, there needs to be a transformation. We need to just towel this whole thing. Let's just clear all of this off and start over. Okay? That's what I'm getting. All right. Let's get the tarot. Let's see what else. Holy Spirit wants y'all to know because I feel like I've been going too long. Holy Spirit, what else? Well, I am parched and I feel like somebody's thirsty though. All right. Holy Spirit, what else? I need the to know pertaining to this connection. Celebration, child, distant horizon, mature man. What do you want the collective to know? Alright. Ooh, okay. Oh man, yeah, somebody's praying. Okay. Trying to put their thoughts to rest all up in their mind. Okay. Yeah, someone's thinking a lot about what has happened in this connection. Alright. Somebody is still trying to hold on to the memory of it. The real things, the real memories made. Okay. Somebody cannot get someone off their mind okay yeah i can't make this up three of pentacles you got the eight of swords there may have been a friendship that um you guys started off as at, at first or maybe you were friends that became lovers and then got married later but spirit was saying there was a, a great collaboration at first but now someone is in prison in their mind pertaining to this whole situation okay yes the hermit major arcana okay someone is really trying to take a moment to reflect about what's been going on because someone in the background is, is waving a, a white flag they're saying okay i'm ready to give up you're walking away from me and I'm, i just want to give up okay king of pentacles i'm sorry knight of pentacles something is coming slow and steady a decision yeah somebody's afraid that you know a decision is going to be made there they know what's coming but they're just they're just sitting here just like i know it's coming but if i get this news all hope is lost that's what i'm getting like it, it's over for me i'm done that's what I'm getting. It's a, it's a donor for me. Even though this is what it looks like. I know what's coming. If this person leaves me, I'm out of here. That's what I'm getting. That is so horrible, you guys. And I, I pray you guys do not feel like, you know, you have to end your life or do something detrimental to yourself. T let me tell you, the world is not over. Heal and keep moving forward because whatever is not for you, God is trying to usher something else great for you to come in. So, okay, so our hope is not lost. And I know you love this person. I know it hurts. But I promise you, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. That's that's the word. Read your Bibles, okay? I'm telling you. All right, what else? Okay, six of cups. You Yeah, it's a connection. All right, someone from your past. Maybe um, you guys have a lot of history, a lot of years you guys were together. Okay, somebody's praying for reconciliation. They're thinking about memories of the past that you guys made, you know, how things used to be. But there's a there's an ending, okay? The world, they know something is about to come to an end. And I feel like they're avoiding this decision that has to be made, okay? You have the Knight of Swords. Maybe this person is resisting communication with you because they don't want to ruffle your feathers. They don't want to um, you to get in the energy of urgency, to be impulsive to, to make this thing go quickly. I feel like this person, as long as you are slow and steady, this person is okay because they know that you're not making your decision or vice versa to end this connection. But but they feel like if they say something to you that will trigger you, you're going to do something impulsive and you're going to move real quick and it's going to be over for them. That's how they feel. Slow it down. False person. Okay. Yeah, you got the nine of cups. You have the nine of wands reversed. Somebody is really trying to 
relax okay yeah five of cups right behind that on the bottom of the deck somebody doesn't want to be depressed they don't want to be anxious they don't want to be in their head they're trying to let go of the burden okay your person may be drinking a little bit may be inebriated here and there okay nine of cups could mean that a person overindulges in alcohol sometimes when it's upright but when it's in reverse that could mean that this person is trying not to when they want to so this person is trying not to get out of context and character they're really trying to resist but this person if they could have it their way they would be drunk every day seriously but they like okay i gotta slow it down i know what i've done i gotta slow it down i gotta give myself a little grace because i have done the most okay yeah three of cups this person may have been in third parties. There may have been, you know, people interfering on your relationship. Like I said, third parties do not mean that it's a person of the opposite sex. It could mean a family member, friend, love, or whatever. If it ain't a two of cups, then it's a third party. That means somebody is interfering and imposing on this relationship. Okay? This person knows that they have done the most. Queen of Swords, they know that you are mad. Queen of Swords reversed. Okay? And you possibly have cuss this person out have told them like it is don't want to talk to them or either um, shutting down communication blocking communication from them block i'm getting blocking social media also i'm getting if 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 your person if this is your energy if your person has third parties around them whether it be family members or whatever like you are going on a whole blocking spree like you giving no ifs right now no ifs like i don't want nobody in my energy that ain't for me that ain't you know for my best good that's not leading me in the right direction. That's not um, an asset to my life and vice versa. I don't need no new friends. That's what I'm getting. No third parties. Judgment. I end in the third parties. Judgment. Tell me about transformation. Marriage. Uh, mature woman and gift. Courtship. In reverse. What is this? Ooh. Two of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. The Sun. Two of cups. I'm telling you, somebody is realizing this marriage is not a gift from God. I'm telling you, collective, I feel like you are this mature woman in reverse. You may be a little distorted now, but Spirit is saying that you are a queen of pentacles. You are loyal, nurturing. You may be an entrepreneur, a businesswoman, a person who has a bag, um, a person who is very driven and passionate at work, okay, or makes a lot of money, or you, you're just abundant financially you're stable and secure okay but in this connection you expected the sun is what spirit is saying at one point you may have looked at this person as you're my happiness you know that there needs to be some type of transformation in this connection in order for it to be the sun whether it be things that are hidden that needs to come out because i know this is the monology um oracle that we're using but spirit is saying that things need to be illuminated okay in order for this happiness to come out secrets need to be revealed truths need to be told lies need to be uncovered okay spirit is saying everybody needs to come in in the spirit of transparency period if it ain't that then it ain't it okay but i really feel like if you were a wife or are a wife who is really trying to put their best foot forward with their husband okay and you guys have a great soul bun. You guys are soul mates, but you just may not be it for each other or your season has ran its course. On the bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups, you feel like you have been deprived of your emotions, depleted, okay, riding the wave, okay, of life. I feel like you have been through it to hell and back, okay? You may feel like your emotions have given you whiplash, okay? Or you feel like this person blocks your creativity, your intuition, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, reverse, and you got the Queen of Pentacles. Also, what I'm getting for some of you, for some of you, Spirit is saying that your person, you and your person can't grow is because you have too many feminine en energies surrounding your person. For some of you, this is one person. This is you in these energies. Queen of Pentacles, collective. Stay with me, okay? For others of you, you are the Queen of Pentacles and your person in this Two of Cups has too many feminine energies surrounding them that are affecting your relationship. That's the reason why this new beginning cannot start with you two. That's the reason why there's no transformation. They're delaying this new beginning, okay? That's the reason why 
it can't start because they won't put their defenses down okay their guard is down around these energies queen of wands reverse queen of cups reverse these could be two different females okay or just people it could be in their family or whatever they're in these energies toxic people that are not conducive to healthy relationships they're enablers is what i'm getting okay your person would not put their foot down when it comes to these people is what i'm getting that's the reason why spirit is denying the gift okay marriage was supposed to be the gift marriage is upright marriage was supposed to be the gift there was supposed to be fruit coming from this connection look you got two of cups queen of pentacles the sun too many interferences is what spirit is saying yeah seven of pentacles reverse no growth no manifestations no working eight look i'm telling you i can't make this up eight of pentacles reverse seven of pentacles reverse king of cups reverse okay spirit is saying that you guys were a match okay you are the queen of cups and this person is the king of cups maybe okay either way it go this person is a manipulator when it comes to emotion see spirit said that's the truth uh, emotional manipulator okay this person's heart chakra may be blocked they, there's no work no manifestation no seeds i said dead seeds earlier okay so this person wants all of the transformation the sun and the two of cups and the connection but they don't want to put in the work they don't want to plant the seeds and they don't want to put in the work is what spirit is saying you can't you, you can't get something for nothing temperance in reverse ace of pentacles this connection has been blocked okay ace of pentacles in reverse temperance reverse it's unbalanced it's unbalanced and it's been blocked two of wands reverse no direction is what spirit is saying no direction yeah no courtship no connection four of wands reverse no union it's been blocked so i'm telling you this is for your benefit collective spirit helped you dodge a bullet because you have better waiting for you you have the sun you have the two of cups and i feel like this is the future you were meant to have something like this you were meant to be loyal. You were meant to have, be somebody's wife. Be cherished. Work hard. Play hard. You were meant to have a life full of, full of fulfillment and illumination and the sun, happiness, and someone that loves you wholeheartedly and will reciprocate everything that you feel like a worthy relationship should contain. Okay? Let me, got, let me give you guys some advice and then we're going to go ahead and end the reading. All right. All right. Holy Spirit. Okay. Holy Spirit, this is a clarity and truth. For the collective, what is the advice for the collective pertaining to this message? Come on, Holy Spirit. What do you need the collective to know? Notice the signs. That's what Spirit is saying. You know. I feel like this person knows that you're very intuitive because you have been noticing the signs okay it says yes the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent we drop feathers coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone so your spirit team wants you to know that you need to keep your eyes open your spirit team is very strong you're highly protected and spirit is letting you know that your intuition is on point okay continue to be as aware as you have been collective because spirit merits your awareness okay all right what else yeah opportunity to forgive okay spirit is saying stay in your heart space okay don't be impulsive by doing tit for tat things on the bottom of the deck spirit is saying get some fresh air go out in nature okay play with your kids if you have some take them out on dates or if you have uh, fur babies play with them okay opportunity to forgive and also forgive this person because this person may have really betrayed you and broken your heart but just stay in your heart space is what spirit is saying this situation brings you the opportunity to heal grow and release negative patterns hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness we will help you release unforgiving thoughts feelings and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion okay last one collective holy spirit messages of clarity and truth yeah, steady progress. Spirit is saying that you are a work in progress even in the midst of all of this chaos and conflict, okay? We acknowledge you for 
the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Spirit is saying that you are still being loving even when you don't want to. Okay? On the bottom of the deck, Spirit says, go for it in reverse. Okay? So, Spirit is saying you don't have to be impulsive. Go with the flow. Baby steps slow and steady. All right? Slow and steady wins the race because I feel like there's going to be some type of breakthrough. In this connection doesn't mean you guys are going to be together but i feel like this is still a lesson on both ends whether it be you teaching this person how to love and you loving yourself through it okay by taking your power back but still coming from a loving energy all right and i hope that makes sense i love you guys don't forget to like the video click the notification bell if you want to be notified on when i make a post and also subscribe to the channel if you resonate with me i love you guys i'll see you in the next video all right until next time my lovely hearts bye